Uh, hi, I'm Ken Kalita. Um, I guess I'm here to talk about my military uh, Lego builds. Um, the first ship here, this is this is the first ship that I built uh, many years ago now. And uh, I tend not to build, uh, try to build real accurate. I build on sort of my presentation or, re or remembrance, I guess, of what I think uh, your key features are of ships. I've always liked military equipment. So to me, this is just kind of a classic uh, American frigate. Um, and, uh, and of course, I kind of Legoize it. That meaning, you know, it's small, it's kind of minifigure size, but it's, um, you know, kind of fits within my budget and uh, my abilities. Uh, so I started with that, and then as a compliment, I have this, uh, what I call a, uh, you know, a, what a coastal submarine, I guess. So naturally, a good good counterpart to that. We have a little display in our uh, Mishlug. I have a little drop section, I call it, with... Uh, uh, with a little base there and then a dock and so those are a nice little uh, complement to each other spent a bunch of time on this silly little radar I'm not a mechanical guy but that's a single motor running at it, and it's been very very reliable over the years um, we like to add animation to our layouts and it it's small but it adds up um, so I guess progressing down this way a little bit I moved up to these uh, so, sort of more modern ships I guess um, again, just kind of uh, along the lines of a little destroyer or something, or uh, I think actually I refer to it as a Corvette because it's kind of on the small side. Uh, then this this one here is kind of inspired by uh, Russian patrol boats. Um, even have uh, kind of the darker color, which uh, a lot of the Russian stuff seem to be different colors. Um, you know, actually this ship, even though it's I don't really tie these necessarily to nationalities. It has features that you would see on a, typically on the Russian ships. A lot of it to save space. So you have your surface-to-surface -surface missiles uh, and so forth. Um, okay, moving ahead here. So we got the larger. This is my largest ship. This is not super uh, super large by current standards, I guess, in the Lego world. But uh, again, I'm trying to go with. Uh, a little bit of a retro look guns rather than missiles kind of the most accurate looking thing on here probably is this phalanx uh, turret which is probably small for lego figures but it's a good size for me um, helicopter deck again my ship's too small for a helicopter so i had to come up with some sort of drone um, it's probably my third iteration of the drone there um, Little turrets on the side, probably not real practical, really inspired by some Italian warships of the, uh, I think, 60s, 70s era. Um, and that's really my, that's my Navy at present. I always dream of building more, a little bit bigger. This is kind of modular. You can see some seams in here, so I could actually fairly easily rebuild pieces, make it longer, and someday I'll get to that. Well, these are really neat. I think you did a great job. What, what inspires you to build ships like this? You know, when I was a kid, I just uh, always liked to study military books. You know, that was kind of the high, height of the Cold War, and, you know, times were simple. Good versus evil, or whatever you want to call it. And uh, so, just, uh, I think that's how I started looking at military equipment. I just poured over the books. And uh, so, when I have free time, if I just want to build something for entertainment, enjoyment, I tend to gravitate towards military stuff. Thank you. Okay, thanks.